contract with the apartments and so we <clears throat> the contract entails that we keep the breezeways clean anywho let me continue with what I was saying um, I started my day off my day pretty late today and that's because I woke up feeling really really tired and really unmotivated and I just wanted to lounge about all day and do nothing but of course um, because I work from home I had tons of work to do and so I definitely needed to just get off my behind and get going so that I could accomplish something today and that's why I am bringing you today's video because I know that a lot of you out there probably feel like I do most of the time I'm usually not motivated to you know to be productive on a daily basis there's some days that are better than others but most of the time I really have to like push myself to get started sorry that the leaf blower is making so much noise I hope the background noise isn't too much yeah January is one of the months where I really really struggle to get work done I think it's because of the cold weather you know we're indoors 90% of the time and because it's so so cold all I want to do is cuddle up and binge watch TV and just you know sleep most of the time but I know that I do not have that luxury and even if I did I think it would make me really really miserable because I'm usually I'm usually miserable when I'm unproductive so I just have to push myself to get up every single day and of course because my daughter goes to, goes to school and I have work to do at home um, I'm forced to get up every morning <laughs> and get some work done so I think I'm going to be going by my own experience when I give you some tips on how to be more productive increasing my productivity is definitely one of my main goals this year I don't want to be passive at all I want to do everything intentionally and so I have definitely been implementing some I guess can I say rituals or or steps in order to pick myself up whenever I feel unmo unmotivated and they have helped me so far January being one of those months that are really difficult for me hasn't been as bad this year because I have made some changes in how I go about my daily routine and I'm going to share those with you. Number one for me and one that I definitely implemented today was I decided to start with the easiest task and that was to send in some content to a brand. I, I uploaded that content to the laptop and I sent it to my email and downloaded it on my phone. It seems like it's very tedious. I mean, yes, it is a little bit 
uh, tedious, but it was definitely the easiest thing for me to do because the content was only like 30 seconds long. So I was able to turn that in today. And so I was able to check that off my list and that really helped me out. And I think that is definitely something that really helps me along this process of just trying to be more disciplined is um, I pick the easiest task. So instead of trying to deep clean the house, you know, usually cleaning for most of us, especially if you're moms, work from home moms or stay at home moms, or even just anybody who has a home, um, you know that chores are usually on the to-do list, on most people's to-do list. It usually takes a really long time to accomplish. So I knew that even though there were chores that I needed to get done today, it was going to be impossible for me to be able to accomplish anything at all if I made that my number one focus. Because I find that when I focus on something really difficult, like getting the house clean, I find myself moving from one thing to the next and my mind gets all muddled up and I feel I end up feeling overwhelmed because I'm only doing a little thing, like little things here and little things there and not getting anything finished. So um, I have discovered that focusing on something that's easy to do and takes a little bit of time is definitely going to help. And yeah, so that's tip number one for you. Tip number two is one that I definitely want to make more of a habit mm. is making um, mm. daily confessions. One of the things that I try to do on a daily basis is make some daily affirmations. And my favorite one is Proverbs 31 verses 10 to 31. I guess I can pull it up here. And I'm going to read just a few verses so that those of you that may not know what Proverbs 31, 10 to 31 says may get a gist of what type of affirmations I'm talking about. So verse 10 says, a capable, intelligent, and virtuous woman, but I actually confess this to myself. And so verse 10 says, I'm a capable, intelligent, and virtuous woman. I have been found. I am far more precious than jewels and my values far above rubies or pearls. And then I think I'm going to read verse 13, go down to verse 13 and up to verse 15 because these definitely talk about productivity. And so verse 13 says, I seek out wool and flax and work with willing hands to develop it. So that she's definitely a hard worker. It means that she's very, very, um, productive and then um 14 i'm like the merchant ships loaded with foodstuffs i bring my household's food from a far country so this woman is really industrious she's um very resourceful and she actually seems to be an entrepreneur so then 15 says i rise while it is yet night and get spiritual food for my household and assign my maids their tasks so she's a steward of um she's a steward over her household over her workers and she rises really early and spends has her quiet time with god and is able to hear his instructions on behalf of her family because it does say that she gets spiritual food for food for her household. So this is something that I've definitely been striving to do for my family as well, to have my quiet time and hear from God and really just start confessing all, you know, the word of God over their lives, whatever it is that he's speaking to me, that is what I want to say to them. So this is definitely something that I'm going to um, save for another video because I definitely would like to break down this um, these scriptures in a video someday soon one day soon because it has definitely impacted my life tremendously and i have seen 
my life getting transformed simply because I've been dwelling on the script on these scriptures and I have been trying to implement them in my own life so Proverbs also does say that as a man thinketh in his heart so is he and true to that scripture I have found myself in seasons where I was constantly confessing negative things like oh my gosh I'm burnt out I'm just tired I can't do it I'm I don't have what it takes and I began because of all those confessions that I was making those negative confessions I actually began to believe those things and in turn it kept me from making any progress but now that I made it a priority to speak more positive things as you know I'm diligent I like I said I'm like a merchant ship loaded with food stuffs and I bring my household's food from a far country I have noticed that even my reach in terms of wanting to be fruitful and wanting to create resources for my family or revenue for my family has gone beyond just what I'm used to so you get what I mean like having a regular job a regular nine-to-five job is is not even it's not something that I strive for strive towards and I'm not saying that I'm never ever going to apply for a regular job who knows you know life changes you know there are so many there are so many seasons in our lives, so I'm not saying that I'm never going to work for anybody ever again. But I know that now that I speak entrepreneurship over myself, I've started to think more like an entrepreneur and I pursue, you know, ventures that lead to me walking that out. So yeah so i hope that made sense yeah and then my third tip would be um for you to do one task at a time um that's something else that i had to do today you know like i said i started by turning in some content to a brand that i'm working with or to the agency that i work with after i was able to accomplish that one task it actually motivated me to do something else and so that led me to make my bed because I felt like that was something else that would be easy for me to accomplish today and yeah so it kind of just became a ripple effect like it's a domino effect when you get one task done you feel so much better and you feel a lot more motivated to do something more or do something else and yeah so from there I decided to go on and do some dusting and then I started sweeping and before I knew it I was I I was cleaning most of the apartment so and so that's something that has definitely been really really helpful for me because um, trying to do too much at once is so overwhelming for me and I'm the type of person who overestimates the time that I have on my hands it's so much easier to work in sections or it's so much easier to work on one task at a time I think even in the workplace that is emphasized a lot for you know to increase someone's productivity is do one task at a time don't try to do everything all at once you know I'm creating a rundown then I'm sending emails I'm reading this I'm doing that I'm doing that I'm doing that you're just never going to get anything accomplished if you think in those lines so yeah that has been really really uh, helpful for me especially in the month of January and I hope to continue to implement that attitude or to um, do things that way in the future as well so yeah that's another one and then um, how, what tip am I on I'm just going by what it is that I've been doing today so yeah number four I decided to get ready after I was done with my chores because I knew that I was probably going to want to film this portion of the video for you and so getting ready is definitely something that has been helping me to be a little bit more present and to be a little bit more confident. You know, when I had Judah, 
getting ready for the day became a huge challenge because I just felt like there was I was being pulled so many different ways and I couldn't really take that time for myself to clean up, clean myself up and look presentable. So probably for the past two and a half years, I'm sure you, for those of you that follow us here on YouTube, have seen it, have seen me in the vlogs just looking crazy and looking really, really rough. And that's because I was just so caught up in trying to be everything for everybody else that I couldn't take that time for myself and, you know, take better care of myself. I couldn't do that. Or rather, I I didn't do that. Not that I couldn't. I, I didn't do. I chose not to do it. And I found that my habits in terms of eating got really bad. And so did my confidence. My confidence levels started to dwindle. And I realized that if I didn't try to make a change by, you know, looking out for myself and trying to take better care of myself, I was just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. So this year, one of my resolutions is to always get ready, you know, to always look put together. But that's not to say that I'm going to be wearing makeup every single day. I'm going to be getting my hair done or my nails done. My nails aren't actually done right now. Yeah, so right now I'm actually wearing, I'll show you here because I haven't like shown you when, when I got dressed. I'm wearing a cropped sweatshirt and I'm wearing some comfortable white pants. <laughs> That's up close and personal, isn't it? That's the whole point. The point of it is to just feel better by looking better so when you take better care of yourself and you get dressed you you get what i mean you wash your face put some lipstick on brush your teeth um put your hair in some ponytails or whatever it is that makes you feel a lot more like yourself a lot better you're actually going to want to be more present and more intentional about your day so that's something that i definitely did and because of that I had the confidence, excuse me, what's up with my nose? My nose feels like it's a little stopped up. Yes, yeah, so once I got dressed, I knew that I wanted to go ahead and just finish this video uh, because I felt a lot more confident. I'm actually feeling a lot more confident now to be able to face you. I think that's everything that I did today that helped. I don't know if I told you that I managed to create a reel as well because I'm a lot more presentable if I was in my sweatpants and didn't wash my face or brush my teeth. I There's no way I'm going to try to be seen on social media. It's just not going to happen. But that's that. Yeah, this video is getting long. I'm constantly talking, just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so anyway, those were all the tips that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful to you. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as well. I definitely want to see more of you hop on here and join our community in the process and or rather join our family in the process. So anywho, um, take care everyone. Love you. Bye.